Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rakha Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father who the world only calls God. Yahweh Shah is the true name of the Lord's only begotten Son who the world only calls Jesus. Bahashem in the name Rakha Kodash, the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace, blessings, salutations to the hopefully less scattered abroad. It's the brother Yohanathan coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And in this lesson, my, uh, you know, it might be a quick hitter, don't want to make this too long, but I want to bring this out because yesterday at camp, you know, the brothers was going into this, man. You know how in this world, Babylon, any type of study or any type of field you want to enter, if it's, you know, going into medical law, you know, which, whichever the case may be, you know, you have to, you know, you have to pay to learn. All right. If it's not going to college, you know, going to trade, you know, like, again, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to learn or whatever is on the highest magnitude in this place, you have to learn. And but also you have to pay. All right, but in this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we have been given, you know, through your how about Shema Shah, this thing is at what? This thing is at no cost, man. All right, and again, you know, you got these churches, you got these whorehouses, man. You know, especially beginning with these so-called black, you know, Latinos and Native Americans. You know, you Israelites, but you two-thirds of you Israelites, even you heathen, man. You know, you, you know, you charge people, man. You know, just to go in the church, you know, you charge them. All right. Which is off, man. You know, how about Shemel Shah gave us this truth, man. He had, as he gave it to us, that's what we're supposed to, you know, give to the people, man. So, you know, when we go on the highways and byways or if we enlighten, you know, somebody, we don't stick out our hand after or even at, at you know, even at camp. There's no bucket to drop money in. If somebody wants to do it within they will. Then, you know, the Wadi Halbashim outside, we know that's all of the Lord, but that's not a requirement. You know, even, you know, church, you know, people look, you know, people look down upon you. You know, my time going to church while I was young, you know, people would look crazy if, you know, you didn't drop your money into there. And, and then if you drop the most money, people would be all happy, man. But that's not that's not the case, you know, with this truth, man. All right. Now. Um, first. All right, the first precept that I wanted to bring out is Isaiah chapter 50, uh, chapter 55, and I'm gonna start at verse one. And it reads, Ho, everyone that everyone that thirsted, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. All right, so the scripture says that what? For um, everyone that thirsted, and that's what thirsted for this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, and that's going back to what you know when you uh, eat this roll. Going back to the book of Ezekiel, you know, eating this roll. All right, and it says what, and he that hath no money, come ye and buy and eat. Yeah, come buy, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. All right. So, you know, when you when you get this wisdom, knowledge and understanding, you know, from the brothers, you know, one of the, you know, starting from Apostle Tahar and, you know, Apostle Tahar and, and the elders and brothers down, you know, they give you this thing, you know, they give you this wisdom, knowledge and understanding, you know, at no cost, man. All right. You can ask how many questions you want. You know, you could go into whatever you want to. And, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, they're going to ask you a question at no charge, man. All right. And that's not the case, with, you know, with these you know, other people. That's not the case, especially with these churches. And that's not the case. Again, you know, when you want to learn, you know, if, if you want to go to learn to become a doctor, you got to pay your way through that. If you want to become a lawyer, you got to pay your way through that. If you want to become an astronaut, you got to pay your way through that. Everything is you got to pay your way. All right. But if you are an Israelite, you know, this wisdom, knowledge and understanding is going to be given to you at no cost, man. And the Lord is welcome, welcome to me, a uh, welcome in you. You know, you understand? He's have he's stretching forth his arm. Come on, come get this, come get this milk, come get this wine. All right. In verse two, it says, "Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread, 
and your labor that which satisfieth not. Hearken diligently unto me, and eat thee, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. All right, so you know we um the scripture saying that um you know eat ye which that it, eat ye that which is good, and what is that man? This this truth. All right, just like going back, you know, even though it was bitter, or you know, uh, going back to eating the whole row. Even though that is bitter, you know, it says eat the ee, -E, which is good. And that's this truth. All right. And it says, let your soul delight itself in fatness. All right. And I'm going to go, uh, go to uh, verse three. And it says, incline your ear and come unto me here in your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercy, the, the, the sure mercies of David. All right. So it says, incline your ear and come unto me. All right. But it's all going back to, you know, this this wisdom, knowledge and understanding is at no cost, man. The Lord is walking him, walking him in his, his, his you know, walking him himself, you know, to that remnant, the elect, because we know two thirds of our people won't get this. But again, it's all going back to what? That this truth is at no cost, man. All right. Now, I'm going to go to the. um. I'm going to jump to the book of Matthews. Bear with me. All right. And this is uh, Matthew chapter 10. This is Matthew chapter 10. And I'm going to start at verse 8. And it read, or let me go to jump 6. I'm not, so like, I'm going to go to verse 6. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 6. And it reads, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right. So, you know, when we preach, you know, when we preach this, this gospel, this good saying, this good word, this good song, you know, we preaching it to what? We preaching it to the lost uh, sheep of the house of Israel. Those ones that aren't awakened, you know, to that they are Israelites. All right. Verse seven. And as you go, preach and say, um, Salak here, verse seven. And as you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. And that's what we tell our people. Repent, come back to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, which are the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Why? Because the kingdom is at hand, man. And how do we know the kingdom is at hand? We look at all the prophecies that's going on here, man. So that's how we know through the Spirit that Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, is about Yahweh, why Yahweh, Shah is about to make, you know, Yahweh, Shah is going to make His return, man, because we can look. And in in Matthew, the 24th chapter, tells us that. All right? And it's uh, going to verse 8, and it, it reads, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. All right? So again, man, we got this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, to the, you know, starting from Apostle Tahar, you know, and the elders, brothers down. We got this truth freely, man. They didn't, you know, put a subscription 99, you know, 95. You know, shit, twenty dollars, nine, uh, nineteen, ninety-nine. They ain't put no price amount on this truth. Why? Because it was freely give, it was freely given to us, man, through the spirit of Yahweh and that's the same. But when you go to church, what you you gotta? They pass around a basket. You know, it, you know, you gotta pay, and just like anything else in this world, man, if you want to become something, you gotta pay to learn. But when you go into these, when you go into the scriptures, you know, the real wisdom, knowledge and understanding, not what this world seems acceptable. This thing is at no cost, man. You know, ultimately, we know, you know, you have to have the spirit of Yahweh Bashem al the Rakhak Kodash, all right? But this thing has been freely given, all right? All right? We have received it. So now we have to do the same. So that's why when we go to camp, it ain't no bucket on the ground. We don't get no... Uh, we don't get no um, money compensation for this, man. You know, the benefits that we get is we are doing this work, man. You know, Scripture says, work out your own salvation through fear and trembling. All right? So, you know, and ultimately, the main thing we're trying to get from you, how about your mouth, is salvation, man. All right? So, you know, we don't want y'all money, man. We want, you know, we want that elect to be sealed. All right? So, we got to keep doing this work. You know, keep putting out these lessons. Keep going on the highways and byways until you have Bashim al you know, seals the list of the prophets, man. You know, his servants, his men. All right? And let's go back to... Uh, 
go back. Bear with me one second. Oh. Slokia. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm using my I'm using my Bible. You know, but I got my I got the Bible app open. Slokia. Yeah. Bear with me one second. All right. This is Proverbs, the 23rd chapter. And I'm going to start at verse. Um, I'm going to start at verse 23. And it reads, buy the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. All right. So it says sell it not, man. You can't sell this thing, man. Because it was freely given to us, man. We freely receive it. You know, so it says buy it and sell it not. So what does that mean, buy it? All right. Now let's look. Now, now let's look. Uh, look into that word, buy it. All right. Because that's the thing we got to do. We got to go into these words and, you know, break them down. All right. It says buy. That word buy is strong's h 7069 kana 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 and going back it says to get acquire create buy or possess to get acquire uh obtain all right so that so the scripture says to what it says buy the truth meaning to what acquire the truth possess the truth obtain the truth and sell it not all right and when you sell something you know it, you know you're selling it it don't gotta be for money but you can't be you know oh uh, shit give me this and i'm gonna break down this for you that's not how it works man all right so like what matthew 10 and 8 said you have freely received it you know so matter of fact you know let me go back to it don't want to miss paraphrase it says what freely you have received freely give all right so it, it ain't no tick and tack with this thing man you gotta you know you know through the spirit of how about outside you gotta preach this word man all right and um this is gonna be you know my i think this is my last precept and we could close it out all right this is um this is bear with me one second brothers you sisters this is matthew chapter 21 and i'm gonna start at and i'm gonna start at verse 12 and it reads and yahweh shah went into the temple of the most high and cast out all of them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the temples of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves verse 13 and he said unto them it is written my house my house shall be called the house of prayer but ye have made it and you you have made it a den of thieves all right yahweh shah was was upset man why because these uh they made the temple what they made it a den of thieves when it's what the house of prayer man all right so and, and, and what can we equate that to the modern day we could equate that to the church house man you know church, when you go into a, 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 a christian catholic church it ain't about you know the most high and his son man it's about money at the end of the day all right because truly they don't tell you the truth at church they don't tell you about the curses of deuteronomy they don't tell you that uh the, about the 12 tribes of israel they don't tell you that yahweh shah is, is is coming back to judge this this world man they don't tell you these things man they, they you know they they teach you about prosperity they teach you about when you give you know you're gonna receive man all wickedness man and all churches got something called a 501c3 all right and that's from what the government man all right so what you know let's read it again this is matthew chapter 21 i'm gonna start at verse 12 and it reads and yahweh shah went into the temple of the most high and cast out all of them that sold and bought in the temple 
and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves. All right. So this is supposed to be what? This, oh, jumping down to verse 13, it says what? My house shall be the house of prayer. This is the house of prayer and all these evil things are going on in there, man. All right. That's why going down, it says what? It says, but you have made it a den of thieves. All right. So that's just to show you that. Um, that just to show you that, you know, these modern day, you know, these modern day churches, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yashai ain't dwelling in them. Even what it says, you know, I dwell not in temples made with hands, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So that's just to show you, man. But, you know, I wanted to bring this uh, this lesson out through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. Lord willing, it was edifying because, you know, now we got this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The water to you, you know, the water to you. How about Shah? We have to, like it was given to us freely. We gotta. It got. It has to be the same way, man. So this thing, this truth, is not at a cost, man. All right. So you know, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Most on every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole for the less scattered abroad. Till next time, Shalom and a ball with ball.